Make my podcast. Life found a way in the sequel to the mega hit about dinosaurs so eloquently called The Lost World, no colon, Jurassic Park. This week on Wreck My Childhood. Welcome to Wreck My Podcast. This week, I'm here with my guests. They're not lost. They're found. They're here. Lost world. Uh, He's a troglodyte because he doesn't have a Sega. It's Cam. They do move in herds. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, He's happy they made a reference to the Chargers. It's Craiger. Oh, yeah. I was going to say stay out of the long grass, but no. I was all like, San Diego Chargers, yeah! (laughs) He'll never get kicked off the gymnastics team. It's Joe. Oh, sure. In the beginning, it's ooh, ah, and then everybody's running and screaming. Uh, That was like a really tired Jeff Goldblum. (laughs) Uh, And I'm your host. I like to have fancy feast on the beaches of islands I know nothing about. My name is Jordan. Uh, So... Do you say Cam. fancy feasts or yeah, fancy fancy, feast? fancy feasts? Cam, did any of those references make sense to you? Uh, <laughs> no, when, but when you said fancy feasts, I thought you said fancy feast, which is cat food. And I was That's about to be like, thought. what was that scene? Well, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, there's a scene where a person just eats cat food on a beach. <laughs> yeah, on a beach. I was like, that sounds great. Yeah, it was great. It was like Swiss Army Man, but with dinosaurs. It's, a, it's wonderful. <laughs> uh, so uh, this week we covered The Lost World. At least three-fourths of us watched it. Um, <laughs> did my best you're gonna you'll be really prepared for the next few weeks when we cover jurassic world which yeah. also has half of the same title <laughs> one third of the same it, time yeah uh, but anyway let's get into jordan Technically, that word is in all of the movies no jurassic it's not part world world is jurassic the movie. yeah but world Penis. is the word that is oh, what threw us off on this saying, one yeah <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Cam getting... just heard Cam just heard world and he was like, Yeah, I got and my this. brain just went Jurassic. Jurassic. And also whatever day that was, it could have been when uh Corey and I were drinking. Oh, probably. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. alcohol. Blame, blame it on the alcohol. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like Jamie Foxx. <laughs> All uh, right, let's do uh, Jordan explains the movie. Okay. Oh yes, it's time for Jordan to explain the movie quickly. A story about corporate greed and how fighting Chapter 11 can have dire consequences. Also, tall grass is a (laughs) no-no. I made the tall grass reference, Gregor. Yay! There it is. Don't go into the tall grass! (laughs) Also, was that that a case of... uh, Well, God bless you. Was that a case of... Thank you. Was that a case of brown face? You mean RJ's character? Yeah. No. That dude is just a tan individual. It looked like a fake... Fake tan. It, well, half the characters on here look like a fake tan because it was the 90s and they're like action stars. Okay. Yeah. The dude, this is supposed to be what? Coast three, off the coast of Costa Rica? Yeah, I think so. Like 90 miles off the coast of Costa Rica? At the something, Costa. Something like that. Costa, Costa Rica. <laughs> um, oh <boy>. So <laughs> this movie, The Lost World, uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to start with Joe. Joe, <clears throat> have you ever seen this movie before? Yeah. When was the last time you watched it? Uh, probably within the last year. What'd you think about it this time around? Uh, it's, I mean, I've seen this movie a bunch of times that holds up for me. Uh, still, it's, it's still your favorite. We, we discussed this last week may not be the best Jurassic Park film, but was our favorite. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping to my statement. This one is my favorite one, but the first Jurassic Park is the best one. Agreed. Okay. Fair. Craig, what about you? Uh, last time uh, you've seen this movie. I don't remember the last time I've seen it. So it's been many a moon, but, um, I enjoyed it. Um, it was it was pretty good. Uh, there were some parts like, yeah, but you know, like that's an all older movie. So it was it was a mm-hmm. good time. I, I enjoyed it. I felt felt bad for that guy who literally did everything he possibly could to save their lives. And the T-Rex is like, oh, my yoink. gosh, Eddie. I know yeah. I felt bad. I was like, Eddie's dude, the MVP over here. Dude, dude got yoinked horde. Yeah, I, I love the subtle moments of humor. Like when uh, Vince Vaughn goes, do you see any family resemblance over here with these people? Yes, because his daughter's black. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum's daughter in this movie. Jeff Goldblum's daughter is black in this movie. Cam. Yeah, and then and oh then she's, man, then she's like spit. And she spits in her hand. Oh, that was funny. Good Vince yeah. Vaughn moment for sure. Uh, Cam, uh, there is subtle moments of humor that are great. 
Cam, have you seen this movie before? No. No, <laughs> no I never have. Uh, but you know what movie I have seen twice now? <laughs> <laughs> is it jurassic world <laughs> yeah yeah uh, well i also you know yeah i felt bad for eddie it seemed like he went through a lot for everybody and it just kind of ended you know in a way that what that we didn't hope for yeah <laughs> yeah just, it, by the end of it he really couldn't split the difference no I no I his back it. must have been killing him yeah i believe it my back um i also Spinal. you know when they all went and they had that cat food together on the beach the fancy feast on the beach i yeah. was <laughs> i was blown away yeah that was that was a great fancy i'm feast pretty moment. sure i'm pretty sure that little girl has been in other stuff since because her. oh yeah she, isn't that her. camille what's her name camille Who's bell like in, yeah her mm-hmm. is that yeah, her? It's camille bell mm-hmm. i she, knew it she was in push uh that hayden christensen movie uh when a stranger calls, calls. and rip girls rip girls yeah yeah rip girls over here i remember rip girls mm-hmm. that was a great disney channel original movie mm-hmm. and she was in it um i for me I have uh, the last time I saw this movie was probably five years ago. Even though this is my favorite Jurassic Park, I don't watch it as much as the original Jurassic Park. Um, I see that one like almost yearly where Lost World, I probably haven't watched in about five years. Uh, rewatching this time, I think it held up. I really, really like I I think of it like Alien to Aliens, right? Alien, mm-hmm. the better movie. Aliens, more action packed, more in your face, more fast paced. Still a good movie, maybe not as good as the original, but they're just like two different things. One's more horror, one's more action. One's Ridley Scott, one's James Cameron. True, exactly. And True. this both these Except both are this Steven one. Spielberg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but but Steven Spielberg, I think once Steven Spielberg started this movie, he was too far into it to be like, ah, crap, I shouldn't have done this movie. I think <laughs> the dude. <laughs> Joe Johnson, who does the third one, I think was supposed to direct this one, but then ended up getting caught in some like stuck on some other project. And so Steven Spielberg was just like, eh, I'll just direct this one. It's fine. Um, And I think that's kind of how it happened. This is definitely not a Steven Spielberg type movie, uh, (laughs) in my opinion. I I think that it kind of goes out. I think it was more just like, yeah, it's on the page. Let's just get it done kind of thing. Uh, than most even still Spielberg movies. But uh, anyway, hmm. some things I noticed watching this and uh, you guys can chime in if you want, but I never understood why the movie is called the lost world Jurassic park and not Jurassic park, the lost world. Yeah, that's, that's uh, confusing as heck. Yeah. Is that yeah. just because it's, is it, that's the name of the novel. So the name of the novel is the lost world and they were going to just name it the lost world, but there was a seventies movie out called the lost world and they thought people were going to get confused and think it was a remake of that and so they're like we have to put jurassic park somewhere in there because so people know it's a jurassic park film yeah well, and they decided the to do movie. it yeah they decided to do it at the well, end for some reason my, my biggest issue with the title is like it's not a lost world like the dude's company knew where the island was the entire time like well it's, not it's a lost named world. it's it named protected. after the it's named after the book and at the end of the first Jurassic Park book, they napalm the the island and kill all the dinosaurs. And what happens in the Lost World book is that no one knew there was a secret site that had other dinosaurs that started flourishing. And so no one actually knew it existed. And Ian Malcolm and one other dude kind of like stumbled upon it. And then that's kind of why it's called the Lost World. It's like the last place where dinosaurs exist that no one knew actually existed. They thought they killed all the dinosaurs off on Isla Nublar. But Cam, which is also dumb because in the first book, they kill Ian. Yeah, oh, what? they kill Ian in the first book, but then they bring him back for the sequel. And they're Ian like, just kidding. He didn't die. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so also, dumb. Al- also, fiance says hi. everyone. <laughs> oh, hi, fiance. Hi, Beyonce. <laughs> Hi, Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, I love Beyonce over there. Um, so just, be, just Beyonce chatting up with Krager. <laughs> yes, yeah, he's, he's Krager Fierce over there. I'm kind of a big deal. Uh, did you meet uh, Beyonce at that super cool wedding you went to? Yeah, I was just saying, yeah. goes to one rich people wedding. <laughs> no, yeah. Beyonce's hitting him, hitting him up. It's networking, no. bro. Oh, so funny. Um, so another thing I love about this movie is the way Ian Malcolm is introed. Uh, they have that little like 
beginning scene and then when the woman screams it just cu- yeah. hard cuts to ian malcolm's face yawning <laughs> I love yeah it. i love it's the most like cam you need to just watch the first 10 minutes of this movie just to see what i'm talking about with i think this you should watch the movie it's great i think i'm just gonna watch it because i've never seen it it's it's insane i will tell you this this movie is absolutely bonkers like yeah. I, you think Jurassic Park three is weird. This movie actually gets so crazy with stuff that like oh, it makes no yeah. sense half the time. Yeah, I'm down. Jurassic by Jurassic Park three is just really bad with just that one weird scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have Have you ever wanted to see a T Rex walk through San Diego? Yes, really bad. Really well, bad. there you go. You can see it in the Lost World. <laughs> oh, amazing. Yep. Um. All right. So, all do out. you guys think that Hammond is responsible for? everyone's death in this movie because in the first movie he's his ego and his hubris is kind of the reason why everyone's out there and the dinosaurs get let loose and why he like the dinosaurs shouldn't have even been made in the first place do you think it's his fault for this one because he does kind of like get the team together that goes out there i i have i have a very simple answer not even a shadow of a doubt yes Uh he is the worst yeah okay do you all agree with that joe or i feel like oh. Cameron's trying to like uh i don't know make up for what he did in the first movie i feel like he's feeling guilty but at the same time wants the animals to live if they can because they are thriving for yeah but but he's mr mcgoing to them but he's mr mcgoing it if it didn't work out like he's like oh I'll no, try but all, by doing, doing, no, no, all he's he doing, doing is bad what do you mean? All he did was send a team to go document how they're surviving and what they're do- and and that. No, he's he not said, the one that no. sent the. He's not the one that sent the engine. The, the, the engine no, he to knew, go but he, no, 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 no. Yeah, he, so did, he, was he did know to, engine no, no, no. was going. So yes, he knew he engine was, was going. To get their no. team in and out before engine no, got everything but, all taken care of. But he didn't do it soon enough. Did he have an ulterior motive? Possibly, but I say no. He is at fault. He also is a douchebag because he sent freaking what's his name's girlfriend out there knowing that he would have to follow her even though he didn't want to go. He couldn't keep her from going. Actually, Sarah he, Harding. He, he could by not by not telling her about it. Sarah well, he Harding. He had to offer her the job. He needed to find someone. Yes, yeah, Sarah Harding she came didn't to need him. To jump on the plane and run. He picked her because he knew she would go, and then that knew he knew it would force. He picked um, her because she was the best. Has, has oh anyone my, he, asked he is, the? He, he's a trash person. Has anyone asked the dinosaurs who they think's at fault? <laughs> no, we're really not getting the full picture here, huh? No, no this is just like complete revisionist history. You yeah. know, typical white capitalist. They're just going to tell us the, media, an the, the biggest antagonist <laughs> is the meteor. So that's all they're going to be worried about. I don't know about that. All you don't know about listen, that? All that no. was going to happen is they were going to make a theme park with corporate corporism and cor- capitalism and shit like that. Corporism, and then, yeah, and <laughs> corporism. And, then, and what better place than San and Diego? Then, and then, and then yeah. freaking, and then they already the had the San with, Diego Zoo. The other, the other dude. World? I'm talking. That's okay. The Chargers. Chargers. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I wasn't. I wasn't Sorry. stating my my thoughts. It's fine. Don't worry about Good. it. No State one your thoughts. Um, and the other dude just wanted to do the most <laughs> dangerous game, you know, no big deal. No one was going to get hurt. It was going to be fine. Yeah. Roland was the only one who was like prepared enough, though, to even be on this island. Yeah. Although I love how he's like, yeah, we're in a gaming trail. I was first off, I was like, OK, I get it. You're like uh, the dude from the African safaris and whatnot. You know, you know what's going on here. But like no one knows how dinosaurs act. So don't act like, you know, exactly. You no, know, he brought are along. He brought along a dinosaur expert and they're prepared. The di- he did bring the, on a dinosaur. But the expert. problem is, all dinosaur experts are theoretical up to that yeah. point because they never Does, actually experienced what the dinosaurs did until no, they got doesn't there. Matter. It was and fine while he was dinosaurs. It, it was fine while he was at, while he was controlling everything. So I also think the biggest issue with this whole thing is that they're part frog. Yeah. So if you lick the yeah, dinosaurs, like, would was, you get where, high? Where mm-hmm. was the T Rex jumping? Like I wanted to see T Rex with hops. Actually, that would be so. You know what? what about I, a T Rex that could shoot its tongue out and just Model. like grab a human and suck it back in. Like, yeah. This is a big ass, just yeah. a big ass Yoshi. Oh my god, would be the scariest thing in the world. And then world. the guy have the jumpsuit. It's like, hmm. Oh, that'd be amazing. Well, they, oh, they only yeah. had what ten percent? Did they only use what ten percent of the? I thought it was toad? just like a strand. Yeah, it was like one single strand to like make the thing complete or something like that. 
dino DNA. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Uh, I think Jeff Goldblum's a treasure in this movie. Uh, he's a treasure yes. in everything he does. That dude, that dude is a weird fellow, but I love him. I have um, a question about him. Mm-hmm. How does he know the exact moment a T Rex is about to attack? What do you mean? He saw like the little pawn thing next to him, like start rippling. No, no, no. What about when they're inside the RV? They take the baby oh. out. They leave, and they're all talking, and he goes. Hold Everybody on to something. Hang on to hold yeah. on to something. This is going to be pretty, bad. I'm pretty sure. And then all of a can, sudden, they flip over. There was no like bumps or booms or anything you like can, that. Because one, you could feel the vibrations of their fucking big stomping. But also, no, there's can. windows. You can see him look out the yeah. window. I assumed he was looking out the door window and saw them coming back from the like never yeah. actually left. They were still. Just would you out there. say everybody hang on to something? This is going to be bad. Or would you say, holy shit, there's a T-Rex right there. <laughs> to be, listen, to be, well, listen, to be honest, if it was Jim, me, I'd be just like you. <laughs> if it was me, no words would come out. I'd just go. <laughs> oh, I would straight, just straight <laughs> diarrhea. I would as, as as joke and a test in moments like that. I would just scream because we, were, yeah, because Joe and I were driving back from the beach one time, and Joe was like jamming up the music and like trying to get me to react to it. So he's looking at me, not the road, and then I look forward, and there's stopped traffic, and we're moving, and instead of saying stop, I just go. Ah! <laughs> i mean that's how we all would actually respond the other day there was a tarantula out, outside our door and i went to go like that's no big deal right yeah tarantula. oh no yeah big deal. no big deal i went to first go spray it because with our bug spray because i'm like i do not no, want this thing your, in my house what's your pee <laughs> No, we have like a, spray, like a spray bottle of bug spray. So I spray and it falls off the wall. And just it falling off the wall, I went, <laughs> 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 not manly at all. Not manly at all. Tell me you have a, um, a ring like a camera. Ring doorbell. Unfortunately, our, oh. I was like down the hall from our front door. So the oh. ring didn't capture it. I know oh. that would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I always assume that, Je- that uh, Ian Malcolm saw them through the window and he was like ah oh, crap like they're still here and that's how he knew he does then it a that's second when time they said, hold on to your butts. i don't remember when he does it a second time when uh oh wait a minute when he's on the ship how does he know exactly what like he's trying to direct everyone tell him what to do not to open up the cargo bay and everything so so this is a big and, this and here's my other question. How the hell did that T-Rex okay. destroy, kill everyone on the ship and it's so still was, somehow in that cargo bay? Yeah, that's the biggest plot hole I think <laughs> in this whole movie is like how the whole crew of that ship are dead, which they aren't actually, because if you see there's one guy later on who's like, We had this big gun, but we weren't able to shoot him. <laughs> like he there's like a guy who was on the ship explaining something to them later. So there was like I, at least one I, survivor. I, I can I can tell you what happened. Well so I, you, I, I, on, on, on. Uh-huh. Yes. I, I want to hear it. <clears throat> so as you can see on the center of the ship on the top deck, that's where the cage was, where it was mm-hmm. at. And then it escaped that and killed everybody. And then it, then people were down in the hold. And so that's what lured it down there. And then someone after he was injured was able to hold the button. His thumb was on the button, keeping the motor, pressing it down. That's what's going up and down, up and down because TRX was pushing up on, on it. And then when they pulled it off, then that's what. So the hydraulics of it trying to close was keeping the T-Rex from being able to get it open because there was force pushing down on it. And the moment they hit the button to get the hydraulics to open the cargo bay, the T-Rex was able to get out. What I don't get is how a severed hand is on the outside of the cargo hold holding onto the button. That doesn't make sense. I don't understand how that guy died. How How, that guy died. How the T-Rex is inside the cargo hold, yet he's the hand that's holding it closed somehow is severed. Yes. That because, missing doesn't make sense. Puzzle. Because it got him before he grabbed on it. T-Rex got him, but his hand muscles were so already doing the, the hand. Thing. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> no, he was already holding it. God bless America. It's not that far uh, to stretch. Yeah. That's not pretty real, but it's not a big stretch, Joe. I it's hard know. for that. It's, it's hard for that guy to scratch. Cause he doesn't have his arm anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, Very it's easier for him, for him to stretch. Oh, yeah, he can reach way more places now. <laughs> uh, so I think back in... Wait, the- what? How? Hey, Buzz, How give me your it? hand. 
<laughs> yeah, like someone oh. else can use the hand to scratch oh. their back. <laughs> yeah, like like if God forbid I ever you I ever like lose an arm and not a prosthetic, I'm gonna have way too much fun with that. Anytime yeah, anyone and- asks me for a hand, they're just getting my my prosthetic thrown at them. Just every so time. it breaks and you gotta buy a new one. Hey, three D printing, right? <laughs> Uh, I, Gregor then can only afford oh, wow. 2D printing of his prosthetic arm, so it's just a <laughs> flat <laughs> arm. <laughs> I gotta be really careful how I move my arm after that. I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, so another thing I thought was really weird here is the casting of Vince Vaughn, and I realized back in the '90s. Vince Vaughn was probably a good choice because he wasn't as well known back then. Where now it kind of takes me out of it. I'm like, are you crashing this dinosaur's wedding? Like, what's happening here? You know, like I just Vince Vaughn he's, has become. He, he, he's just he's over the there motorboats some dinosaurs, brother. That's true. He's the one that brought the comedic relief. The, those one little one liners. Yeah, I think that Steven Spielberg saw him in Swingers. Um, yeah. And that's when he was like, oh, I want this guy in my movie. And they kind of, I don't know, could have created that character, but really kind of molded that character for him to be able to be in it. It still, it takes me out of it yeah. now. By the way, like, uh, Swingers, oh, it doesn't take good. me out of it at all. Swingers is a good movie, Krager? Yeah, I watched it for the first time last year. Yeah, I've actually never seen it. I thought it was boring, but also I don't remember a lot. So maybe I need to rewatch it. I don't know. Uh so more action, more dinosaurs. Woo! Uh, I did realize Roland is better than Muldoon. We talked about this last time. I forgot Roland is way cooler than Muldoon. No, Muldoon is better than Roland. No way. Roland, like he Roland is so like crazy cool. And also he's a nice guy. He doesn't want the girl to know all the death that's going on. Yeah. He's like going after people who are lost, even though he that's doesn't true. have to like. This yeah, no, he's cool. way, better. Checking on way better. What's her name that sh- if she's injured? Yeah, even though they're enemies. He bested a T-Rex, man. Come on, what else you want? Yeah, but at the same time, we did say going after a Velociraptor is way harder than going after a T-Rex. That's true. It's harder to get those clever girls than that big boy. Just ask ask (laughs) Eddie Bro at a bar. Exactly. Uh, So I love how no I love how no phone works this whole movie. Like every time there's like a satellite phone, it's just like, what's the point of even having this thing? It does we not need to work. get that. We need to get that Verizon. And then you just we just need to have the that Verizon guy walk across the screen. Can you hear me now? <laughs> and then the dinosaur eats him. <laughs> I told uh, you something out of a scary movie, too. So, you know what I thought was really dumb, too, is there's a scene where um, like Ian and his daughter and Eddie are up in the uh, like high rise thing. And then Vince Vaughn and uh, uh what's her face, Sarah Harding, are down in the trailer with the baby T-Rex. You would think if you were on an island with dinosaurs by yourself with a baby T-Rex, the one person who would probably be calling you in the <laughs> the thing is someone who's there. Like they're, the phone's ringing. They're trying to call them to be like, hey, the T-Rexes are coming. You might want to like get rid of the baby T-Rex, but they don't answer. And I'm like, You'd think if the phone's ringing, this would be pretty important. This isn't just someone being like, hey, have you uh, checked into your long distance phone calls lately? <laughs> yeah, like, your sure. car's limited warranty is almost like those people aren't calling your phone. That in is the middle a good of point. Nowhere. That phone <laughs> rings. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of a dumb, a dumb thing. If it's there. important, they'll text them. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't yes. that what uh, no, Ian I, says I, I, when I he just, walks just, in? He goes, would he kill you to pick up the phone? Yeah, I just, we need we need a we need a read up over that. They pick it up. It's all like your car's extended warranty needs to be updated. I'm having a phone number from Russia calling me every day, and when I don't pick it up, the num the voicemail says something about my car's warranty, and I'm like, I think there's other things in Russia going on right now. That <laughs> nothing's <laughs> happening in Russia. That's true. That's true. <laughs> no, I mean there should be some revolution going on there. Nothing. Soon. Nothing's <laughs> happening in Russia. They have no money anymore. That's true. And no Netflix. Worst. No Netflix. Mm -hmm. Uh, Actually, no, I think they changed that because they were losing subscribers and they're like, no, money. Uh, They took a loss for the first time ever. It's fine. You can can see what's in years, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So also T-Rexes hold grudges. Like, that's interesting because they were like real mad about the baby. Like they gave the baby back. Chihuahua, dude. Something with that little of a brain man. That's true. They they kind of explained that. It's not that they were getting vengeance. They were... Sorry, I just watched Batman. I'm vengeance. I'm vengeance. 
<laughs> no, it made me laugh. I just watched this TikTok video today. It's this dude's called Horny Batman. He goes around like asking people, and he's all like, "Ass, titties, or vengeance." <laughs> 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 Anyways, to kind of explain it, um, they said that um, th- that's part of their new territory, which is why they proceeded to. Oh, you're right. They, uh, to destroy the trailers, they needed to clear out and protect their territory. You're right. They did they mistake moved the that baby, for their they territory. Moved the nest. You're right. You're right. I did forget they did explain that part. Dude, imagine, um, imagine if that was John Wick's dog that the dinosaur ate. Sheesh. Oh yeah, maybe maybe that is the maybe that little boy is John Wick. <laughs> He just experienced so much trauma. <laughs> so much trauma from dogs dying. <laughs> and that's how he grew up. And also, um, also, those parents did not have a good relationship. Oh, no. Those <laughs> parents were getting a divorce real soon. What do you mean? For it's sure. Um, okay. So <laughs> another thing I was going to say is the breaking glass scene. I love that part. So good. Uh, with the, like, the little cracks in the window as she's like putting her weight on it. It's like well, it's just, uh, I was getting so frustrated because she keeps trying to get less pressure points. I'm all like, "What are you doing? You got to sp- lay flat and yeah, slide. Yeah, sp- yeah, distribute the oh weight of your body God. throughout the okay, whole thing." They kept point telling in time, her, "Don't." They kept telling her, "Don't move," and all she did was move and create less pressure at points. A, at this point in time, was there any dinosaurs in the area about to try to eat her? No, she no, she no, was hanging, hanging off a cliff. cliff. She, they were hanging off a cliff. <laughs> And the only thing that was stopping her from falling down the cliff was a cracking glass. If someone were to tell me, don't move while I'm panicking and about to die, I'm going to move. Yeah, that's true. We got to give her the benefit of the doubt there. And she couldn't really slide. It's not like she was laying flat on her. uh, Well, no, she did. She did lay flat on her stomach, but then she got up on all fours. Yeah, don't get up on all fours. Do What you got to do, you got to do the quick jump. Quick jump up it. to the feet and then hop oh. up and grab something. <laughs> I ain't got to warm it, dude. You just got to slither. Yes. Yeah, all the way. And then you're good. a little squirmy wormy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, so uh, something that bugged me is for Sarah Harding, supposed to be this smart person who deals with predatory animals all the time. She continues to wear a jacket with the T-Rex baby's blood on it while they're traveling through the island. And then later on, that bites her in the butt because the T-Rex is sniffing out well, the blood. Well, you can't and I'm like, blame why didn't her. you ditch that jacket? Well, you can't blame her 100% because freaking um, Roland did notice the blood no, and ask her what what that's from. Are you, are you here? He's like, oh, no, it's baby T-Rex. And he allowed that to keep going because he wanted the T-Rex to follow them. Oh, you, you, oh, conspiracy. Ooh, I think Craig like right this. about that. That's, that's a, a nice no, conspiracy. No, they purposely put that in the film. Like, you can tell. That's like... okay. <clears throat> no, I think it was the crunch bar. We're all playing checkers over here, man. <laughs> yeah, Craig is playing three chess. chess over here. I, <laughs> I honestly, I, I honestly <laughs> think it's those crackle bars that uh, the T Rex was sniffing out, not the blood. Oh yeah, it was those crackle bars they they were eating. <laughs> That's why the glass had to crackle and break. Yeah, exactly. The crackle bars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So that's pretty much everything I noticed about this film. You guys notice anything else? Yeah, there was this one. <laughs> <laughs> A fancy feast. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Okay. So okay, let's so talk what's, about what's the uh, what's the better scene, the Velociraptor kitchen scene, or Lost World Velociraptor in this like auto mechanic looking place? Mm. No, I don't make it. It's it. Uh, never what? mind. It's not worth it. I don't know. Well, what, what was it, Craig? Guest services. It was just simply their home base. There was simply because there was cars around. Doesn't make it a mechanic shop on a freaking island. Chains, well, there was a garage tools. there. Yeah, because they have to repair the cars on the island. So that's Sounds technically like mechanic the mechanic shop. shop. To me. <laughs> <laughs> the whole area was not a mechanic shop. But the whole area that the scene revolved around was the garage. <laughs> no, it was never mind. It was their yeah, home the base scene. that had a garage in yeah. the home base area. To answer your question, Joe, I think the kitchen scene is the better scene. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so I, confused. I don't like I don't like the whole scene where the girl does the gymnastics swing and then kicks a velociraptor off of the rafters. That was kind of hokey. The, yeah. I'm just imagining like this it, at first you were like, yeah, mechanic shop. I was like, sick, that'd be crazy. I was like, uh, that would be really insane. Craig was like, it's not a mechanic shop, it's like a whole building. And I just my brain went like, yep. <laughs> it just expanded out. Yeah, it's a huge area, and I was, and then Craig was like, "Hey, just park their cars there," and it was like, "Boop, 
parking lot. <laughs> and then, and he's like, no, but it was the garage of the place. And then my brain was like, Doop. and it just like that whole thing. My brain was just trying to construct what you guys are saying. Oh, that's so oh funny. There were chains God. in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think the kitchen scene's the That's better. That's just scene. where they fix the cars. <laughs> yeah, just where they fix the cars and have it all out. mechanic like stuff going on. <laughs> oh, we love it. We love. It. Okay, don't worry. It's not where they just fix the cars. It's where they fix anything mechanical. Yes. So let's. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, no, it's just, mm, they're they're we're, they're portraying it wrong. Cam is perfect. Oh, never mind. Just we're done. Moving on. Moving on. Let's, uh, Cam let's, is perfect. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about uh, when this movie came out and who's in it. Uh, May 23rd, 1997. So we're coming up on the 25 year anniversary. Oh, damn. 25? I mean, 20? Yeah. 20? Yeah. Five year? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it had a $73 million budget. It grossed 229. So it still did pretty well. Tripled its money almost. Yep. Um, it f- was filmed mostly in the Redwoods National Forest up in Northern California. Uh, Hammond's house was in Pasadena. Uh, the mm. Raptors and the long grass scene was filmed in Newhall. <laughs> yeah, Newhall, yeah. California. Let's yeah. go. It has to be near um, Hart House, mm-hmm. probably. Yeah, probably. Could like it be Disney Ranch. Oh, it could be Disney Ranch oh, out in the fields out there in like Class Arena yeah. area. Yeah, hundred percent. That scene could be out is there. actually really cool. I love the Raptor stuff in this movie. Though. Yeah, with their tails, like, <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, the Greystone Mansion <laughs> was in this movie. <laughs> was- uh, in other great films like There Will Be Blood, where uh, the milkshake was drinking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Greystone Mansion. There, uh, I, I, the, the the Velociraptor part was hard for me to really get into because, like, because all you're listening my, to is because uh, no, because all I could picture is like some dude with like his hand up Velociraptor tail going like this. Yeah, it did kind of look like that. They were like <laughs> uh, the Muppet tail, uh, and then also they filmed in San Diego. And when the ship that dock the ship comes into, that's in San Pedro. So lots that of California sense. locations and our hometown. Oh, yeah randomly yeah I, I looked it up i was like that's so weird that right, it was a did, new you, did you not mention hawaii uh okay did there you... were a few scenes in Kauai again but not okay like, oh Kauai, barely. yeah yeah barely i was last year really yeah that's um weird. so 53 percent critic what do you guys think oh. audience was 78. 72 mm, i'm gonna go you said 53 percent critic yeah obviously the critics aren't gonna like this one as much because yeah uh, I'm gonna go 69. Nice. 51 audience. Whoa. Even the audience is low, which I'm surprised because most people say. The, well, what's surprising is the amount of money it made with that low of a score. Yeah, like it made it. Well, Jurassic Park it's name because of the first one. Alone. Yeah. Um, okay, so Michael Crichton and David Cope. Uh, well, David Cope wrote this one again based off the Michael Crichton book. Um, Steven Spielberg directed this one again. Jeff Goldblum returns. So does Richard Attenborough, as well as the kids. Uh, They're all in that at the beginning. Um, Julianne Moore, she plays Sarah. If you don't know who she is, where have you been living? She's a pretty (laughs) pretty big actress. Uh, Yeah, she had had sex with uh, um, fucking Doris and Gordon-Levitt in that that porno. What? It was a movie. What movie was that? Don John? Yes. Nice. Um, yeah, where he pick, where he picks Jul- an older Julianne Moore over Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, because that that's I've never normal. actually seen the movie. I just know about it. He, he, he has a, he has a he has a porn addiction. That's that's oh. the gist of the movie. Nice. J- Joseph Gordon Levitt does right. The real person. Yes. He totally does. Yep, you heard it here sure. first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Pete Postlewaite is the guy who plays Roland. He was also in The Usual Suspects, The Town, and in Inception. Uh, he's a pretty big actor yeah. in a lot of like action things. Um, Vince Vaughn, he plays Nick. Everyone knows who he is. Vanessa Chester is who played Kelly, Ian Malcolm's daughter. She was in Harriet the Spy. Huh. Huh. I forgot about that movie. Anything else? Uh, she was in an episode of How I Met Your Mother. Wow. That's, that's about all I that's all I really Anything knew her from. Recent or not acting anymore? Or just not, uh, not notable things? Nothing notable okay. recently. Nothing okay. that I recognized, at least. Um so the guy Dieter, the one who gets eaten by the little compies, that's Peter Stormare. Oh, yeah, he's in everything. He's this dude has two hundred and forty seven acting credits. Yeah, he's like, in everything. He's Fargo, Constantine, yeah. Armageddon, like big hitters, but also a ton of small stuff too. Like this dude's everywhere. 
Um, we talked about Camila Bell. Uh, she always plays a little girl at the beginning. She's and then, also the voice of a calf in the Wild Thorn Bellies. Is she? Uh, that's what it said on IMDb. Nice, because uh-huh. that's what you're known for. Um, <laughs> so the guy, his name is Unlucky Bastard in the movie. He's the guy who gets eaten by the T-Rex in San Diego when he tries to run into the door. And then the T-Rex oh, grabs him. yeah, yeah. It's ODB's worst cousin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Um that's the writer, David Cope, actually. He got to be oh, in the movie uh-huh. and do that. So that's always fun when you get to be in your own movie. A lot of Especially great, uh, since you wrote it, because yeah. they typically just forget you exist. Mm-hmm. Here's your $1,000. You get nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah. A lot of great uh, 90s Netflix? references in this, too. I mean, you got Blockbuster. Blockbuster. You got, uh, I haven't seen a 76 ball in forever. Mm-mm. Oh, God. Yeah, no, there was some great stuff in here, definitely. I forgot that they did that. Yeah, the big balls of 76. <laughs> I remember that. I remember all 76 balls back yeah. on. That, re- that reminds me of the sound drop we used to have of Cam. And I saw like the most pubes. <laughs> man, I wish I had that queued up right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, so Kathleen Kennedy also produced this one. We kind of talked about her last week and how she destroyed uh, a fan, a whole fandom's relationship with the thing they love. Um, and John Williams came back again this time. They changed up the theme a little bit to have drums and congos in it, so it sounded more King Kong. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So there's that. Uh, all Isn't right, you the guys. Lost World something in King Kong as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah the, the whole Lost idea. Of, yeah, the whole idea that Skull like the T Rex, yeah, Skull Island, but the whole idea that the uh, uh, the Lost World is like this area. It's kind of so the Lost World is reminiscent of the Laura Croft video game where like you go into a cave and there's just like a T-Rex that didn't get mm-hmm. killed. And it's just like been chilling there for millions of years or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the Lost World. Okay. Let's do some fun facts. Uh, what is okay, facts? Cool. Baby, they're fun. They're fun. Oh, yeah. What is facts? Baby, they're fun. They're fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a cat oh, that dance. Belly in the roll. Song. <laughs> that belly that was awesome. roll. All right. So, first fun fact here Julianne Moore admitted that she did this movie to pay off a divorce settlement. <laughs> so, oh, really? Why she took the role. Yep. Uh, director Steven Spielberg had to attend an early screening for Swingers in order to give approval for the use of the Jaws theme. This is when he saw Vince Vaughn and offered him the part in the movie. So, I guess I was right. I, I, I thought that because I did write that down. <laughs> so there you go. Um, this movie held the record for the biggest opening weekend in history until November 2001 when it was surpassed by Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Makes sense. Yep. Uh, the vocalizations for the juvenile Tyrannosaurus, the baby T-Rex, was a babel, baby camel crying for its mo- mother. Camel. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Did it sound like my humps? Uh, (laughs) No, it's my my imagination. That's what it sounds like. That's what a camel sounds like. (laughs) 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 Uh, (laughs) 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 And then followed by George with with the train. (laughs) 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 Uh, So initially, (laughs) Steven Spielberg wanted to save the San Diego sequence for the third movie. However, he later decided to include this in the movie after realizing that he probably wouldn't direct another installment of this movie. Mm. Uh, writer David Cope said that when he was writing the script to this movie, he taped a fan letter next to his computer screen. The letter was from a viewer of Jurassic Park who complained he waited too long to show the dinosaurs in the first movie. So I just imagine this is like the dude who's trying to like get in shape and they just have like a picture of like abs on like the door. <laughs> They're like doing sit ups towards. He's just sitting there with his computer, like this fan letter there. Uh, um. As of 2016, this is the only sequel that Steven Spielberg directed that is not related to Indiana Jones. Can you think of another one? As of 2016. Was there one after 2016? (laughs) Did he do a big friendly giant (laughs) 2? You mean Iron Giant? I don't know. I think Steven Spielberg did BFG, did he not? I thought he did. Tinker, Taylor, Soldier. Did he he direct um, Ready Player One? Yes, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Because will the, he be doing Ready Player Two? That's supposed to be getting a in the sequel, works. but I don't know if he's doing it. I don't. Is the sequel actually called Ready Player Two? I thought that the second book no. was called like Armada something. 
Hold on, let me effort this. Continue yeah, with your it's Ernest Klein facts. who wrote it, and I'm pretty sure the second book is called like Armada or Dang something. It. Steven Spielberg didn't direct The Land Before Time too. I I understand he why did, they he said didn't. it until he did 2006. <laughs> I understand why they say that now. 2016, they said until t- so that's pretty recent. Oh well, Polar Express. 2008, two. they came out. He did Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yeah, but all, uh, he's that's what they're that's saying is. Indiana Jones is like he's involved in all those movies. But apart from that, he didn't has never done a sequel except for this movie to one of his other franchises. It's a war horse, right? Yeah, warrior horse. (laughs) But not but not W-A-R-R-I-O-R. W-A-R-I-E-R. Warrior. (laughs) More has who hurrios. There's also uh, (laughs) The Post, Bridge of Spies, Lincoln, The Fablemans, West Side Story. Did he do a sequel to Lincoln? Nope. <laughs> Can you do a sequel to Lincoln? <laughs> yeah, that Spoiler was a zombie. Alert. That was a that was a zombie hunter Lincoln. Oh yes, that's the sequel. <laughs> Lincoln the prequel. Lincoln the prequel. <laughs> when he's just boxing bears or whatever he did when he boxing was younger. Bears didn't like sand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Corey's calling me. Bye guys. I love you. I gotta uh, make dinner. Okay. <laughs> See ya. All right, bye. So final fun fact is the cliffside set uh, that they have the trailer coming off of, which was built at the parking building at Universal Studios Hollywood. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, we've all been to that building before. Mm-hmm. Yerp. Yerp. Yeah, we have. Yerp. Yes, we have. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys, the last thing here, what I'm going to tell you guys is the differences between the book and the movie. Because as we remember from the first episode, there was a lot of differences between Jurassic Park, the book, and the movie. Same thing with The Lost World. Yeah, I'm curious if they go to San Diego in the book. So let's do oh, this. No, it's all there's no San Diego in the book. It's no. all on the island. There's also a bunch of characters in the book that are not actually in the movie at all. Uh, Dr. Levine is like the main the main character of the book doesn't show up. Sarah Harding kind of takes the place of him, even though Sarah uh, Harding is in the book. She kind of takes the place of both characters in the movie. Um, <clears throat> but in the book, wait, Sarah Harding is also in the book. Yes. Here are the differences between the book and uh, the movie for The Lost World. Yeah, let's hear it. Uh, Malcolm goes to the island without any manipulation in the book because he wants to learn more about how the dinosaurs went extinct. <laughs> uh, the Kelly character is actually two characters in the book, Kelly and Arby, who are students going on the expedition and not related to Malcolm in the book. Um, the baby T-Rex trailer scene is actually in the book. So that's pretty cool. There's like the same thing there. Uh, Harding kills the main bad guy in the book by pushing him out of their hiding place in order to distract the T-Rex so she can escape. So her and the bad guy are like hiding from the T-Rex and then she just like pushes him out in front of the T-Rex and the T-Rex eats him and then she gets away. So that's pretty cold blooded. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cold blooded. And then the ending of the book is that they just leave the island. Like they're just like, okay, we're leaving and no one knows that the dinosaurs exist there. They just kind of leave it be and they're like, the like few people that make it off the island, like we're never going to speak of this again. And that's, so that's the that's end. It. The dinosaurs that's just it. live on this island and wow. whoever happens to stumble upon it just dies. Mm-hmm, pretty much. Yep. And then that's how we get Jurassic Park three. People are hang gliding over this thing and then <laughs> falling into it. Um, okay. So that's the episode uh, t- to make sure we don't have a fifth audio recording. I need to edit <laughs> on this episode. We're going to cut it off here. Uh, go check out wreckmypodcast.com. We have a Redbubble store. We have an Instagram. We have a YouTube. We have a Patreon. Patreon, uh, we do some cool raffles and some cool things every now and then. So go uh, support us there. That'd be really, really awesome if you did. Otherwise, don't want to give us money. Just give us a rating or a review. And we're very appreciative of that as well. Uh, So we'll see you guys next week. Also, obligatory talking about Tim, eight inches soft. Just ask his wife, France. That he complains that we never talk about him anymore, so he stopped listening. So I'm talking about you, Tim. Oh, I bought him. A, I bought him a sledgehammer. Wreck my podcast. Because he asked for one. A yeah. sledgehammer? I bought him a sledgehammer. He said he's always won one, never had one. So I, I Amazoned him a sledgehammer. <laughs>
Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Joe. Very for, nice. Yeah. Joe didn't hear that. <laughs> He's saying very nice. I was like, All right. you can hear me? If you need to ask what a Joe bag is, Joe will let you know. Nice. Let it's my know. bag. It's his bag, baby. <laughs> We're fine. It's what all movie good. is that where it's like, um, okay, we go on seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what is that? Or was it, it a TV sounds familiar. show? That, it sounds yeah, so it's familiar. something where like, they like pick that was like, Ted some Lasso. unnecessarily like, t- high number and then that count really Lasso. fast to it. That was Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso, they counted to like, four, oh, no, like he, 14. Yeah, he picked 14, but he counts all of them like, ah, okay, never mind. Uh, he did it yeah. slow. Yeah, he did it I slow. I don't think That's it's Ted Lasso about. because no, no, I yeah, know this right. joke, and I've never watched Ted Lasso. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. What sitcom is that from or movie? Jordan, you should watch Ted Lasso. I think you would like it. I don't have yeah. Apple TV+. Plus. I need, to, I need to get it because there are some good shows on there I want to check out. I hit my toe on my desk. Like, There's some. Like Severance looks pretty cool. Severance and, was amazing. Yeah, and For All Mankind looks good too. Like, and um, I feel like there was one other one that I saw it looked good. This this made me think of it because I saw Joe's uh, Corona and Bad Bunny did a Corona commercial. Bad Bunny is <sighs> there is gonna is like first of all like it's everyone loves working with him. He was on like a Brad Pitt movie. They love him and they were gonna. Who doesn't want love to a do bunny? Work, yeah, I'm um, gonna do work with him. Um, but also now he like it, there was this like Latino wrestler character in like two up issues of a Spider Man, and now Bad Bunny is getting his own standalone Spider Man movie. Elm Yeah. What it's is insane. it with what is it with Bad Bunny? Because he was in the WWE too, and yeah, he everyone, was on WrestleMania last year. Apparently, he's a great dude, really good to work with. I don't know. I so I have a coworker who told me when I first me started too. working there that Bad Bunny is transformative. And I listened to his music and I was like, I don't like a single thing. Yeah. Jordan, we music. all know you don't like much. Wait, I love a ton. I I think I like more <laughs> things than I should like. <laughs> like this hairstyle. Oh yeah. I love good, it. Dude. This I'm is a great hair. Too, yeah. It'll, yeah, it's it'll all just do... growing back up because it's like me and, 70% me humidity. And Cam, yeah. When I said let's all do the hairstyle, I mean me and Cam. <laughs> yeah, Dane yes, Deathlock. Yes. Hold on. I'm joining you guys. I said he looks like a Danzig cosplayer. <laughs> Yep. I just need some like face paint. Danzig or Mutton Vein. Face painted. And Danzig, obviously. How do they poop? Oh, I thought we were watching Jurassic World because that's what you wrote. I said The Lost World. You wrote Jurassic World. Did I? Did everyone watch Jurassic World? No, no I, watched, I watched The I watched Lost this, World. Yeah, The Lost World. <laughs> I wasn't on the last episode. That's Hold true. On. Hold on. Let me effort this. Yeah, did I did I write uh, it wrong? That's or, my bad if I did. I also could have read it wrong. Was it 420? Are you guys free to record tomorrow night for the Lost World? Lost World. Okay, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just Cam's mess up. <laughs> yeah, I just read it wrong. When was the last time you watched The Lost World, Cam? <laughs> never. <laughs> oh, you've never seen it? You've never <laughs> seen The Lost no. World? Oh no. man, you're gonna be oh, what a fool. Listen, listen uh, I've seen, it's, not, it's it's not that bad considering like their titles are very similar. I've seen Jurassic Park, and then I think I've seen Jurassic Park three, <laughs> and then I saw the first Jurassic World movie. Well, you're in luck because you'll get to rewatch Jurassic Park three next time. <laughs> oh, think my favorite parts were on the airplane, and the dinosaur says Alan. Yes, it's the greatest <laughs> movie. Yeah, the greatest part of the, the movie. best part. <laughs> Velociraptor. <laughs> Lady hey, Terminator. we're back. Well, what's what's going on with Lady Terminator? Is it so? Wait, is it not 3? Terminator Three? Yeah. No, it's it's an Indonesian <laughs> remake of Terminator, where the woman gets possessed by this weird deity who chomps off men's penises with her a snake that lives in her vagina. Nice. So and it's like, the it's only like way teeth. the snake the the only way a snake can leave is if someone gives her an orgasm, and so one guy does, and he turns like his uh like the weird snake into like a dagger. And then a thousand years later, this lady gets possessed with it and goes around and is just chomping like human male wieners until they're in bullets bounce off her. That was the whole movie. Isn't there like a movie called beaver or something like that about like a killer vagina? Is it teeth? Teeth. Okay. Yeah. It's teeth. Yeah. Nice. Uh, But this one was just insane and it was shot crazy weird. And then we watch a movie called American Rickshaw, where a guy is accidentally like involved in some crazy crime with a rickshaw. 
Yeah. I just, <laughs> America Richard, picture this dude running around. Or, or his, his name, that Richard is what happened. Shaw. <laughs> Rick Shaw. Yeah. Craig, that is what happened. <laughs> oh, that's and ridiculous. Then, and then there was a movie called <laughs> Fangs about a guy whose name was... Fang. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, dude, William I can't Fang. remember. It's so stupid. It's such a stupid name. Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> His name is Snakey Daniels or something. Snakey <laughs> Dean. Snakey Dean. Snakey Dean. Hey, Snakey you hungry? Dean. Come on he down brings, to like, Snake snakes Dean. to people's like houses, and then this one girl's like really just wants to fuck the snakes, and so he gives her a snake orgy, but then kills everybody in a row. Weird. Made wow. no sense. And then the last one, which was the best one, was John Stamos plays 007 son. <laughs> and Gene Simmons <laughs> is the antagonist. Oh my what? gosh, I want to see that movie so bad. <laughs> he is bad. Does he lick him? Uh, he, yeah, at the end. Nice. <laughs> but you, yeah, he uh, he plays like a, and, and it's like really weird and loaded, like saying that he's like, there are two genders, <laughs> like the, like, se- like sexual and bisexual, and bisexuals like are, and it was just so weird. <laughs> Oh, I love John that. John Stamos like... is James Bond Jr. <laughs> James <Interesting>. Jr. <laughs> Bond Jr. <laughs> yeah, basically. So it's not actually 007, but it's like that exact same kind of thing. He likes his is... white claws shaken, not stirred. The yeah. name is Bond. Bond Bond. Bond Bond. <laughs> and in true like weird 80s fashion, like his best friend's like a computer hacker Asian kid. No, true 80s fashion be if your best friend is just a computer. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> grab this snack over here <laughs> he was like you know what i'm gonna go get a snack <laughs> we'll be back right after this mes- short message from your sponsors yeah Ray, are you work today or something okay here let's do a clap again real quick with that chip in your hand joe <laughs> hmm. one two three it's salami oh salami <laughs> yeah I was like, that chip doesn't look me. like a chip to me <laughs> i don't know it looked like a chip to me okay uh, uh yeah, let's get go ahead. We'll start with my last final fact here. Oh my gosh, Beggs is offline again. Craig, are you uh, hitting something with your microphone or camera or something? Some she. Mm-hmm. Just, I mean, you're you're pretty much. Do you just want to finish it without me so I don't fuck it up? Because there's nothing more, pretty much. Else. I can't hear him at all. Yeah, Joe can't hear you at all. Uh, just finish yeah, it me, off without. Let yeah, me just, just finish, finish this off with the book differences are, and then I'll be like, "Hey, we're gonna go." Okay. Maybe yeah, just, you okay. can get. Maybe Craig's side will still record, even though nah, just, I can't just, hear him. Just, just don't. We'll it's it's not worth. It. I'll just yeah. I'll just sign off. I I, I don't want to give Jordan any more editing. Uh, okay, editing, so here so. I'm just gonna finish it off. So well, let me, no, let me leave so he doesn't fuck up anything else. No, no, no. Just stay on. It's totally fine. Because I'm seeing Joe and I are still recording. So as long as you don't say Wait, anything, that's I. Well, I show that Krager's like sound bar thing has wavelengths in it. So oh. it's still recording him. Interesting. OK, so well, let's give it a test I here. I can't hear him. Let's still do this because you'll probably still get all the recordings. We'll just okay, have cool. to work with Joe not talking is over each a other. big old bitch. Can he hear me? He, I think <laughs> he can hear you. Krager, can you hear him? Joe is a little taint. <laughs> Joe, keep licking your fingers if you're a taint. Is that a yes? Yeah. So, Craig can definitely <laughs> hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Make my podcast.